Hey everybody, John R2 here and welcome back to Deltarune. We last left off, we were exploring the town and, uh, well that was the last episode of my PlayStation, so I could not save. So when I loaded up the game this time, I had to replay all the way from the fight with King all the way to, all the way to this point. So I went back and talked to everybody that I talked to before when I was recording and I finally made it here. So let's continue on talking to everybody. Knock, knock, knock. I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? Oh, also, I'm going to stop doing the voices. It's just murder on my throat. So we're just going to talk in normal voice for everybody. Ah, Asgore. dum de dum Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Of course he's watering a flower. Howdy, how can I... Oh, Chris! Are you our dad in this game too? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like... I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Does this flower talk? Is it flowy? It's a flower. It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. Some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. Plants. Let's talk to you. Say, hey, Chris, I was thinking, perhaps when Azriel comes home, we could all go to the, to the diner just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Yeah, it does. Then we could all have a nice drive around town. Might need to clean out my truck, but... Then we could all have a nice drive around town. Okay, I'm going to say the same thing. There are various flowers inside. What's up here? Oh, are these the souls? These are, aren't they? Okay. It's a purple flower protected in a container. It's a blue flower. Cyan, gold, yellow, orange, and green. He come up here to watch us too. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. Small TV on top are some superhero comics. Rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. See photos. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven souls, seven flowers. A reindeer-looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. It's a rusty fridge. Let's open the fridge. All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You just had to pass. Was there something else to do with the fridge? Don't. You decide not to look. Dirty fur stuck in the drain. It's a door, it's locked. It's a dirty watering can. It's an air mattress, it's certainly not king sized. Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress and I could uh, use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. Oh. So it looks like our mother and father are still split. This has got to be like alternate reality, right? Oh, Chris, before you go... Here, for your mother, our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. Aww. Sad that you guys aren't together. What's over here? Is that the truck? Dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Oh god, those are the worst kind. Wait a minute, this is where home is, right? No? What do you guys have to say? Nothing better than hanging at the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. True. Picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground underneath it. Stick your fingers into the holes in the table? I mean, you really kind of have to, right? Will it not let me? Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore. You try from below. Your hand became covered in cobwebs. Disgusting. 
What is this? Fishing? Fishing minigame? You I mean you're not really an RPG without a fishing minigame, right? Let's continue back. So we've spoken to the alligator lady there. We miss these cats. Let's talk to them. What's up, dad cat? Hey, neighbor baber. When's your brother Doug gonna come by? <laughs> my girls do love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> uh, that's not cooking, is it? It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. Little Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ha, <laughs> I'm not even actually her aunt. Oh, my God. Can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything, though. Your choice. Asriel. Oh, my God, Asriel. Like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when me and him went to the dance? That was, like, the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him and danced inappropriately in front of your mom. Oh, okay. And got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. Haha, <laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Let's talk again. Sister. Oh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me. My playing is an anti-blessing from planet hell. I'm using that. Anti-blessing for planet hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my fricked up little sis. Look, Chrissy, do you want to talk about something? Neighbors. Like that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy. She's like my life villain. Like the other day, I went to see Cat Petters 2, and the only other person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered a cappuccino. Yeah, <laughs> cappuccino. And she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Uh, copygator? Copysaurus? Copadile? I don't know. She sucks. Okay. Oh, Chris, like, if you want to come in, our cat flap is, like, always open to you. Except for it's not. Because you won't let me in. Um, I don't remember where we came from for our health. Well, I guess it was up. Oh, uh... Reindeer lady. So when I was going back through and talking to people, I found that when I went in the hospital, I never went through this door. And if you go over here, there's reindeer dude, right? This looks like the guy from uh, uh, my lottery dream home. Uh, anyway, he's sick. Hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? Don't worry. There's no way you can bore me right now. So Noelle, I believe, is his daughter. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet, couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember, she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? Don't worry. There's no way you can bore me right now. Illness. So, why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yes, no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff, then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. Hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? Don't worry. There's no way you can bore me right now. Family. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? So he must be the rain gear to your guy. Oh, hey, now that Azrael's off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? Heh, <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, whew! She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie. I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. So, yeah, I found him. There was a cutscene that played when I went in there uh, with him talking to his daughter. And then there's a guy over here. This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber, but my blood is boiling for battle. So, anyway, yeah, that's the only two new ones, I believe, we found. Everything else, I just talked to just the same way. So that was up here? Yeah, up here. So she's over here now. Let's talk to her. Oh, hi, Chris. 
Did you need help with your homework again? I know where you're having trouble last time, so, uh... I actually got a few things ready for you in case. Ah, wait, sorry, I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and... Sorry, Chris, I'll help you later, if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Yeah, tell me about Susie. Susie, that's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but... Everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask you something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? Uh, she's really nice, actually. She just uh, has a gruff exterior. She probably doesn't have the best home life, and she doesn't feel like she fits in. So she acts out and puts up a tough exterior so that no one can get close to her and hurt her ever again. So, yeah, she's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? L like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, wait, this isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Really? You're serious? You're totally serious? Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. Uh, you want to talk about something else? Something up? Yeah, anything. Uh, Chris, are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he's appreciated it, but, um... Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Oh, she's so polite. Hi, Chris. Is something up? Key. Huh? Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I mean, um, I, you know... She doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over the caddies. Let's go get her key. Her mom's in the diner, right? Um, no. Where is her mom? Is this her mom? No, 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 no. That's the same thing that was said before. You the mom? No. Diner? Pizza? Have we seen the mom? I don't think we have, have we? There's no stores over here. Um... Hospital. Talk to the dad again? No. Nothing about... Oh, he's yelling at us for not talking to him. I just realized that. Uh, so, no. Nothing here. Library? No. What was over here? This is the school. Where's the dear lady? I haven't seen her. I don't think. She's not in a town hall, right? No. No, there's nowhere else, so... Okay. Maybe we haven't seen her yet. I think we're ready to head up. This is our house, right? It's your mom's van? Can we go around the side? No, no secrets over there. And look, there's the Delta Rune up top. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. Oh, is it gonna be a butterscotch, butter, butterscotch, butterscotch cinnamon pie? But do not eat it all this time, all right? But do not eat it all this time. All. Oh, don't eat all of it. Those little faces she makes. Why is her dad not here? The TV doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. Chris, what is it, honey? Uh, flowers. Oh, Chris, flowers for your mother? How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. She is not happy with that man. Chris, what is it, honey? Me. Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon you will be going off to the university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were going to grow in. So we bought that headband with the little red horns on it. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Chris, what is it, honey? 
Asriel. Remember that video game you and Asriel used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fight? Super Smash Bros. When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. Yoshi! We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. Green eggs and ham, Sam I am. Okay, so, oh, there's the pie. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. Aww. Bathroom. Small container of apple cinnamon shampoo and a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. Okay, let's leave here. We've already looked at all of that. I guess we go to bed. It's only you. Door's locked. Well, I think we go to bed. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Yeah, I believe I've done everything. You decided to go to bed. So is that chapter one then complete? It feels like it. Our cart is still red when everything else is blue from the night. Oh my goodness. It launched from our bed. And we're sleepwalking? We are sleepwalking. To the Delta Rune. Okay. Oh my god. Our soul. We locked our soul in a cage. We have a knife. Laser beam eyes. Delta room. Okay, so that's the end of chapter one then. I guess that was kind of the teaser cliffhanger to keep you uh, the light is running low, and the excited. Shadows start to grow, and the places that you know seem like fantasy. There's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth. The promise in our hearts. Don't want to interrupt the music. Don't forget, I'm with you in the dark. To be continued. So weird to hear vocals on this game, in this style of game. All right, so now we can continue chapter two. Yeah, continue to chapter two. I don't see any reason to keep playing one, so let's go to two. <laughs> chapter two, all right, let's see what happens. I'm assuming we'll go back to the dark world. Start chapter two from chapter one's file. Yeah. So you can skip this for some reason. I don't know why you would. This will start chapter two and file slot one. Start. Chris? Chris, honey, are you awake? Wait. Is that a... A knife? Did we murder our mom? No! Oh, it's a dream. Chris, did you eat all of the pie? Look at that look on her face. It is your knife in this empty tin, is it not? Oh, Chris. Am I going to have to lock the oven again? 
Well, hurry out of bed. It's time for school. So did we have, like, darkness follow us from the dark room? Is that what that's showing? That little dream sequence we had? Because if we look over here, birdcage is still open. We ate that whole pie. We just leave, I guess. Well, shall we go? We're going to school again. Yes, we are. Chris, there you are. Even Susie showed up before you. <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to do the voices again. It hurts my throats. Hey, Chris. If I knew you were going to be late, I wouldn't have showed up on time. Susie, please don't kick your desk. Treat school property like you'd treat people. Okay. Next time I'll aim for the vitals. That, that, that's not what I... In any case, good morning, class. We have a lot to go over today. First, we're starting the reading from page 142. Anyway, any, volunteer, any volunteers? Um, I guess I could read the... Ah, trouble yourself not, Noel. I will valiantly take this blow of humiliation. I loved a little, like, smart, smug face there. Um, that's okay. I can... Ahem. Page 142. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Times are pretty good. Times are pretty bad. Mediocre times. Iffy times. So-so times. Listening to this, your eyes begin to close automatically. Are we just going to go straight to the dark world by going to sleep? Have a nice day, everyone. And please, remember your group projects. Oh, uh, Chris, are you okay? You were, um, sleeping all class. You're not going to wake him up? Don't worry. I'm not mad, just concerned. Usually you only sleep through the start. Good luck and rest well tonight, okay? Hmm. Chris, this whole partner thing, you didn't lose sleep over it, did you? Lost sleep from being Susie's partner. No, I didn't. Actually, my sleep quality increased. Huh, Chris, that's uh, good, I think. So maybe we're just staying up late talking to Azrael online again? Ah, oh, wait, you can't do that, right? I hope the internet gets fixed soon. I don't want to revert into my primal form. Agreed. Definitely need the internet. Hey, let's go back in that closet thing. Well, look who it is, the school zombie. You were sleeping like a corpse all class. Eh, what's the matter? Had trouble going Betty by last night? Eh. Me too, Chris. Like I could sleep after yesterday? Just waiting for today felt like years. Did all that stuff really happen? Lancer, Ralsei, everyone, are they still... Look, you've been wondering the same thing, right? Come on already. You're going to the closet. That face. All right, Chris, this is it. Moment of truth. Everything we've been waiting for is just behind this. If we uh, open this and there's nothing inside, we'll uh, we still be. Screw it. Let's just open it already. Um, so Susie? Yeah. Well, hey. What the hell are you doing here? I'm sorry to bother you, but um, I... Well, I just... Birdly and I were going to the library to do some research for our group projects, and if it's okay, would you want to come too? Oh, Chris, you can come too, I mean. Um, I mean, we're like, uh, busy with... Chris, help me out here. What do we say? Uh, we're hanging out alone in the closet. No, we're doing crimes. We are doing crimes. You know, just, you know, committing crimes. Just gonna do some crimes and go to jail. Forever. Sucks. Oh, uh, well, uh, that sounds unjust. Have fun, you two. I'll, I'll be at the library. Chris, if you could bring her by later, it would mean a lot to me. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's go commit our crimes first. Um, actually, wait a second. Susie, I, um, I have something for you. Okay, see you, bye. Did she kiss her? 
Or give her a, oh, he gave her that gift. It's a lunchbox? Full of chalk? She had chalk the whole time? It didn't give it to Alphys? What the hell, Chris? Here, you hold on to this. You got the chalk. Wait, Chris, what the hell was that? Why would Noelle ask me to do homework with her? Death wish much? Does she want to fail? Wait a second. Wait a second. Chris, did you notice how nervous she was? And like blushing and stuff. Chris, you don't think she, uh... She's under our secret identities? You know, this dark world stuff? Damn, we gotta keep this under wraps, Chris. This is our thing, you know? Anyway, enough waiting already, right? Let's go. Jump. Oh, it's cool how they jumped in there. Good, 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 good. I like that. Oh, the animation. Oh, look at that. And we changed when we went in here. That's cool. Toby, me and you could have a beer one day, my friend. Hey, Chris, uh, you really going to walk everywhere so slowly? I know you're kind of taking it in, but you can run, you know? You remembered something about the O button. I don't have an O button. I'm using mouse and keyboard. I mean, I guess I do have literally the letter O, but that's not what I'm going to use. Here, look, we can run. See? Okay, so we're back to that town. Oh, and the shops are available now. Oh, hopefully they are. Chris, Susie! It's been ever so long. Yeah, yeah, it's been, what, a day? Oh, that is short, isn't it? It's just that I've never had friends before. So I've never waited so long to see them again, either. Fine, guess we'll try not to let you die of loneliness. I bet Lancer wants to see us too, right? Hey, wait a sec. Where is Lancer? Where's everybody? Worry not, Susie. You'll see them in a moment. Just wait here, alright? Okay. Hey, this better not be some kind of prank or something. Chris, I have something to ask you. I need you to return to the light world and go to the old classroom to the east of the closet doors. Inside, gather everything on the ground and bring it back here, could you? Oh, is that because all the chess pieces and everything we found were... That's not it. Are, like, required to be here? That's a little weird, isn't it? Let's check it out. We gathered all the junk off the floor. Is it on my head? Turned it into a giant dusty ball. Are we Katamari? Okay. Is this Squidward over here? I think it is. Yeah, so all these cards and everything, that's going to turn into the people here? Hey, Chris, so where is every... One? Oh, everything's changed. Guess who's back, clowns? Lancer! Hey, Chris, don't know what you did, but hell yeah. Everyone's here. But, uh, what happened to uh, Lancer's castle? All gone. Gone? Right, when Chris sealed the fountain, that dark world disappeared and turned back into a normal classroom. Ah, uh, so it's, it is linked to physical locations. So where's Lancer going to live now? Don't worry, Susie. We'll conquer Ralsei's castle as our own. Chris, are you... As you bring Dark World Denzians back here, the power of our fountain will transform this town more and more. From now on, the enemies we spare will be recruited to our town. So let's keep sparing enemies, okay? Anyhow, why don't we all have a look around? All right, I am going to call this right now. You guys mark this, write it down. She is playing us. Ralsei. 
Ralse wants me to spare everybody in the Dark World and concentrate it all into her kingdom. For some reason, she can have a fountain, but nobody else can. Right? So we're going to concentrate everything here, and Ralse is going to end up being the big bad, right? And by sparing people, we're actually going to make it harder on ourselves in the end. That's my guess. I mean, we're going to have to wait a long time to figure that out, I assume, because we only have chapters one and two. But I bet you that's what's going on here. We can head north towards the castle. I have a special surprise to show you there. Nah, not if I surprise myself first. Last one there is a fresh and fragrant egg. Come on, Chris. You gonna let them beat us? All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.